Time is like a flow of water, occasionally displaced by a bit of debris, a passing breeze. Now and then, some cosmic disturbance will cause a rivulet of time to turn away from the mainstream to make connection backstream. This is time travel. Oh, hello, George! Have you come to learn about time travel, too? All right, we'll be traveling back to the past. Let's get going, shall we? Oh no, George, it's not as easy as that. Now when you're transported to another time, it is important to keep on your toes and not make a sound. No, George! Any change you make in the past can have drastic consequences! See that man there? That is Mr. Peters, making his way to the apothecary. He is something of a dandy, so much so that he will stop and painstakingly brush dust off his clothes if it is kicked up, regardless of waiting appointments. If he is delayed, he may not buy the ointment for his wife, who has been complaining of leg aches for weeks. Furthermore, his wife may decide not to make the trip to Lake Geneva, where she will not meet Catherine Dubois, who will not introduce Mademoiselle Dubois to her son Richard. Richard and Catherine will not marry in 1953, will not give birth to Frederick in 1957, who will not be father to Hans Peters in 1984. And without Hans Peters, Nicki Minaj will not become the 52nd President of the United States of America. As you can see, you must know the Peters story, and all stories alike that are waiting to unfold, dependent on the births of children the movement of people in the streets. In this situation, it is best you wait to be carried back to your own time. Speaking of which, it seems like it's a good time to go back, George! Now watch out for that butterfly! <laughs>